So this last video is part three of the moving boundary. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make the velocity of the boundary a function of the flux leaving the square. So first I need to actually have drug leaving the square or whatever molecule or mass. So I'm just going to specify, con specify a concentration on the bottom here. And let's just say it's zero. So I have an initial value of 10. And I have concentration of zero down here, so drug's going to leave. And at the top, I still have this negative flux velocity. And I have no flux on these boundaries. And I have convection. OK. So what changes is this mesh velocity is no longer constant, but a function of the flux out of the bottom. So what is that flux? So one way to find that variable is, oops, is to go look at transport of dilute species. This is under results. Species C. And I can see a total flux. I don't want the magnitude. I want the material total flux. And it's just going the y direction. So I want to see that variable. So that's the name of my variable. OK. So that's what total flux in the y direction looks like. So I'm just going to copy that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate the bottom. Oops, I need to do boundary like that. Okay. So this this will take the average value average value of whatever input I have on the bottom boundary, and I'm going to come up here at parameters variables I should say. We're just going to say flux O. So we're going to do mod one dot av one. And we're going to take the flux. And since the flux is in mass per area time, we need to divide by concentration to actually get a velocity term. And so what it says is unknown variable. So if we add mod 1 in front, we actually see it recognizes it. So what this says is in model 1, in the physics CHDS, I want the total flux y of c. Okay. And so now I have fluxo, and fluxo is now a velocity. So I'm going to put fluxo right here. Okay. And so what I should see is my boundary shrink based on fluxo. So if I click compute, I can make sure everything's running. And once it's done, I'll be back in a second. OK, and I'm back, and it's done. So it looks like it actually didn't shrink, when really, in fact, it did. And so to see that it actually shrank, I need to come down to this frame of reference under concentration. So I'm under the plot group. And there's different ones. There's mesh. And that shows you the original geometry and the new one. There's geometry. It shows you the same thing. There's material, which moves everything, and then there's spatial. Okay, so what I see is this boundary is now a function of this average velocity, this this average flux, and that is how you couple the mesh velocity with the flux leaving a boundary. Thank you very much.